the CTE program in general is a wonderful program. Here at Edison, I believe we offer 14 different vocational disciplines. Every one of them has a component of literacy, which includes certainly all math, reading, writing, as well as specific technical information. But I know that the teachers that I work with uh, do a wonderful job and they work as hard as you can possibly work to provide a quality education or at least an opportunity for a quality education. If you do the things that I ask you to do and you learn the things that I would like to teach you, there's nothing that we cannot do. This little piece of equipment that I'm standing in front of right now is a forklift and you can get certified in this coming out of high school. Now the law says you gotta be 18 to even get behind one of these things, to even learn how to operate it. But because of the program that we have here is so unique, you can start learning at 15 and 16 and then when you get ready to graduate, you already know how to operate this and you can go out and get a job, you know, operating one of these lifts. Lighting, camera work, editing, all of those things put together, the basics of film, you learn from the beginning to the end in three phases in your three years. You learn about pre-production, the planning. You learn about production, the actual shooting and execution. And you learn about post-production, which is bringing it all together inside of the editing station on your computer. And then sharing it out and distributing out to the world. Whatever, again, whatever you put into the program, that's what you're going to get out of it. Welding is a building block process. The way it is broken down throughout the three years is nice because it allows the students to not only learn the basics of all the processes, but also to further their skills on regarding those processes, which transitions into a job after their senior year. We actually have 10th graders that began this year. They are about to do a full paint job on a Dodge pickup. They're also about to do a custom paint job on a Mazda Miata. And they are restoring a 1967 Pontiac GTO. And by your senior year, you're actually installing heating and air conditioning equipment and also doing service and repair. I can prepare a student here in three years to be able to work on electrical problems, to be able to work on suspension problems, engine running problems, and also repair brakes. The type of student that really likes this class is the creative student. Whether it's drawing, there are students that can draw beautifully, there are students that um, can't draw at all that take this class, but they like the idea of creating something on a computer, being able to take nothing and form something. There are tremendous artists in this class who love to sketch and they take their sketches and bring it into a computer. And the programs of Photoshop, Illustrator bring that drawing to life. A student who would like to involve himself or herself in this type of program is one who likes to tinker with computers, likes to find out how they work, how to fix them, um, how to correctly install them, um, operating systems wise, et cetera, so that they can become better with computers and also earn money. When they leave from us, they do receive a certificate uh, from us basically saying that they either completed three years or four years in a program. What that entitles them is uh, entry into the military or one of the armed forces with more stripes, which means creates some more money for them. Or they usually have first preference into a JROTC college unit within the local area, Temple, and we also have St. Joe's. You're never too young to learn about your health. So if you're serious, you might not know what type of health field job you would like. If you come into my program, you'll have hands-on with all different ex expertise so that you can have exposure to all the different levels of the health field, not just one specific. There are many opportunities in the field of cosmetology. Once you complete your education here at Edison High School, you would get your high school diploma along with taking the test for the State Board of Cosmetology. So when you leave Edison, you can be a licensed cosmetologist. The transition from our program to, to the food service industry should be a smooth one, uh, given the fact that I like to have my students run every, one, every, every each station possible, from baking to the front of a house, to dishwashing stations, to soup stations, sauce stations, uh, to a deli. In that sense, students will have a very good all-around education and they will be equipped with all the skills necessary to work pretty much every station on any food service. 
venue. Uh, this program is uh, care and guidance of young children and we prepare students to work as aides in child care centers but they don't have to stop at an entry level position they can move up the career ladder if they want to become a director uh, family and consumer science home ec teacher they can work in a lab school so there's a, a number of related positions that they can enter with a background in child care when the students finish the, our plumbing program here they'll be ready as an apprentice to go to work for a plumbing contractor. Whether it's a commercial contractor, residential contractor, they'll have the basic knowledge to go in and become productive almost right away, which is what the goal is. Hey, my name is Mrs. Robinson. I'm Anthony Rowe. My name is Ron Price. My name is Ms. Marson. My name is Mr. Zemak. My name is Mr. Dawson. My name is Ms. Riddick. My name is Mike Connolly. My name is G. David Mills. My name is Shirley Morton. I'm Hebron Medina. Tyrone Garcia. And my name is Steve Shagrin. I'm Buck Brookman. And I am Jay Espinel. Thank you.